crazy, right? Welcome back everyone. This video I'm going to be talking about Yusuke. Yusuke is a very deadly ninja. So if you're planning to pick Yusuke as your main character, keep watching this video. I'm going to show you all her combos, all her tips and tricks. Let's begin. First, let's talk about attack speed. Yusuke has a very fast attack speed. So if you're up against someone that is medium speed or slow speed, you're most likely going to hit them first. But if you're up against another like fast attack speed character, you guys will have equal footing. But although she has a fast attack speed, her second hit is very slow. Why does it matter, you may ask? Um, because if I hit, hit first, uh, obviously the second hit will follow, right? Yes, but I want to set you guys up for success, so this is like a detailed tip. So as you guys know, this game has armor attacks. Armor attacks are attacks that absorbs and blocks one hit. So you have to hit, hit them twice to break the armor before the attack hits you. Uh, so because your second hit is so slow, you will not be able to break the armor. So this is very important, So, which is like a big weakness for Yusuke. Uh, because other characters are able to break the armor because their normal attacks are fast. But for Yusuke, because your second hit is slower, you may have trouble breaking the armor. Next, let's talk about range. Yusuke has a short range normal attack, so be careful when you're up against someone that has a longer range normal attack. Um, but uh, even though your first hit is short, your second and third hit is actually very far. So you can actually surprise your opponents like this. So even though I'm back here, you can hit them like with your third hit. But if you catch them with your second hit, you can actually combo it into something. But I'm going to show you the combo in a bit. And also you have one of the longest range attacks in the whole game which is your down swipe it looks like this and you can actually just go back and forth and just kind of poke your opponent and kite them um, so don't think it's just like one poke you can actually combo off that so so she's very deadly even from a far distance so when you're playing against a yusuke uh, make sure you know your distance and not to get hit Moving on to jumping, Yusuke has one of the shortest jumps in the game, which requires three jumps to get into your opponent. One, two, and three. Um, so to compensate that, you can actually hit them on your second jump. One, two. But the downside of this is that you can't hit them afterward. So, um, so if you jump in three times, one, two, three, you're not able to hit them because you're too close. So when you're too close, you can't hit them. But then when you're too far, you can't combo off it. So her range and her jumps are very tricky. But there is a sweet spot that you can hit them and then combo off it. But it's very hard to time it. Another jump that Yusuke has is helicopter mode. You can basically jump and hold the screen and then you basically fly across the screen, also going backward. So you can use it as offensive, or you can use it as defensive. So depending on the situation. Um, so this move is good and bad because it's very slow and obvious. So if your character has an like anti-air, they can easily knock you out of the air. So be careful when you use this move. Next, I want to mention a few important things before I go into a, B, C, E, X, and Super, which is her swipe attacks. Swiping up would be a high chain attack, and then swiping down would be a low chain attack. So you can actually hold both of these and then release it. Um, also, with the high chain attack, you cannot hit them while they're in the ground. They have to be somewhat in the air. And Swipe forward would be a kick, and then swiping forward and holding it would be a slash. But if you're closer, it would be a cross up like this. So if you're, so you can actually use this as a combo starter, and then swiping back is a regular slash. And then if you swipe back and hold it, it will be an armor attack. It will absorb one armor, one hit and then launch them into the air. 
And what can you do after launching your opponent? You can actually do something crazy like this. Pretty crazy, right? Next, let's talk about her A move. Her A move is a 360 spinning chain that goes forward. You can only connect two things after this, which is A itself, which is going to look like this. One, two. You can chain this up to four times, which is going to look like this. One, two, three, four. Another thing you can combo is after A, is a back swipe. So as we know, after this back swipe, we can do a high chain attack. So you can do something like this. Okay. And as the combo I showed you earlier with the back swipe combo, we can do something crazy like this. Pretty crazy, right? So that's her A move. Her next move is B. B is a grab that is not blockable. Uh, there's not really anything that you can do to combo into B. But however, there is a few things you can do after B. Uh, so after B, you can do like a regular jump in attack. You can also do something like this. You throw a projectile and then you jump in for an attack. Uh, also, if you do B, you can do A, uh, but after that you can't do anything. But if you're closer to the corner, you can actually juggle it with this. Pretty crazy, right? So that's uh, B. Her C move is very good to use as a combo extension. So for example, if I grab, I can throw the projectile and then go in for the attack. Or if I catch somebody with a low, uh, low chain attack, I can actually do something like that. And if you're closer, you can do something like that. But C is a very good move and it's very powerful because it can also cancel out other projectiles and even like have a good chance against like super or things like that. The next move is the EX. Her EX is basically a ninja teleportation. She replaces herself with a tree trunk and then teleports to the other side looking like this. But if you're closer, the tree trunk actually hits them and then you can combo off that. So this is a very good move you can use offensively or defensively. So if your opponent is on the other side using long range attacks and trying to do fireballs all day, you can actually surprise them while basically teleport in behind them and start doing your combos. And also, if your opponent is uh, in the corner giving you pressure, you and you can just kind of like teleport and back off, you know, and then keep that distance. So. Uh, EX is a very useful tool. Lastly, the super. Yusuke super is basically a teleportation attack. Uh, she basically teleports next to you and start uh, spinning the chain. So it looks like this. So even though I'm on this side and your opponent on this side, you basically would just teleport next to them and start uh, attacking. So it looks like this. Um, so you can catch your opponents while, in, while they're in the air or you can actually use your B move and use it into super. What is great about this move is that if your opponent is on the other side trying to do a fireball or a super, you can actually counter it with this super. You basically teleport over and then just basically attacking them and avoiding the super. Also, if your opponent misses an attack or like misses a uppercut, uh, you can actually just chase them down with this super. Uh, it is a very useful super and it does great damage. And here's a few sample combo for Yusuke.
conclusion, in terms of my opinion, I think Yusuke is one of the less uh, meter and resource efficient character because if you look at her B and C move, if I tap C twice, I'm pretty much out of firepower right now. So I'm basically forced to back up and then wait for an opening to come in again. So because I think Yusuke has very long range and she's deadly from far, so you can't have that many meter. So I think it's a good balance that she have to kind of like go back and then re-enter that situation. And that is why she has long range. She will find an opening to catch you off guard and backs up to reload while still being dangerous from far. Despite all her weaknesses, there are not that many characters who can be deadly in short range and long range. So I hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful. Now you can explore and have fun in the game. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Yeah. <laughs>